Good evening, I'm Darren Danielson. We're seeing incredible images of our roads becoming rivers and cars devoured by sinkholes. Public safety is of utmost importance at this hour tonight. No travel is recommended unless for emergencies. We begin our team coverage with reporter Alan Hoagland tonight, who's live on Skyline Parkway here in Duluth. Well, Darren, here on this small portion of East Skyline is where arguably the most jaw-dropping bits of damage have taken place to Duluth roads. If you take a look behind us, that is a sinkhole. That's a 10, 15, maybe 20-foot deep sinkhole, and at the very bottom of it there is a car. Now, unfortunately, the damage caused by these storms does not stop here. The damage is breathtaking. Yeah, the roads are just a disaster around here. Roads collapse, sinkholes swallow cars. Dirty, deep rainwater leaves some of them totaled, like this Tahoe near Duluth's was, interstate. Uh, when we got here and the water was, yeah, it was up to here on this. I can't steer very good with those both in here. Near the UMD campus, Eyewitness News found a car almost completely submerged. The front steps of homes, well, they're underwater too. All of this water comes from torrential Northland rains. Early Wednesday morning, they prompted normally calm, tame rivers to erupt. As it flows down Duluth streets, it brings chunks of roadway with it. This one's just across the street from where Greg Vogt works. Oh, the water just blowing up through the road. Completely washed out boulders were rolling down the street a little while ago. That water caused a disaster on Piedmont Avenue this afternoon. Tough luck for people like Joe oh, Perfetti right trying to get home. I, I can't believe this devastation. Wow, unbelievable. When you see trees like this laying in the middle of a roadway, you probably think tornado damage, but that's not what caused this. It was the rain. If you look up on the hillside, the entire side of the hill gave way. I have seen them in California, but I've never seen them here. Those we talk to all agree the storm damage is like nothing they've ever seen. Thinking about what the whole city structure looks like now after this happened, this is definitely a case for FEMA to walk in on. I mean, we're in bad shape on right now. Just destruction everywhere. Now, the latest information from the police department says that nearly 40 roads in and around Duluth are closed tonight. Now, some we saw, Darren, have some pretty significant damage, but really nothing quite like this here on Skyline. Right, Alan. And if you tried to travel into or out of Duluth, which is not advised, by the way, you were probably stopped on I-35 anyway. Here's water coming over the interstate. At one point, MnDOT closed the freeway coming into Duluth. And that's, of course, on top of all the closures inside the city as well.